Many Albertans are concerned that to help our province get back to black and balance the budget, the government may actually be considering a provincial sales tax. The Canadian Taxpayers Federation has already spoken out against the potential tax, saying Finance Minister Travis Taves has not completely shut the door on the idea. Someone else who's dead set against another tax on Albertans is Cypress Medicine at MLA Drew Barnes, and he joins me now from the side of the road in Tabor. Drew, why not bring in a PST if it helps the government balance the books? I mean, after all, we're the only province in Canada that doesn't have one. Simply enough, the UCP government ran on doing something about the high cost of government in Alberta. It is absolutely clear that Albertans taxpayers spend the most per capita on the cost of government services, and we don't always get the results. That's the first reason. The second reason, of course, is the best way for Albertans to share in the, the oil and gas, the Alberta advantage, is to keep every Albertan the opportunity to have more choice, more freedom, and more direction with how, with how they spend their money. According to the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, the potential new tax would cost each Albertan about $1,000 a year. What's the danger of bringing forth a proposed 5% PST at this time? Let's start with the fact that, you know, income tax was a temporary measure after World War I, and now income tax rates, federal and provincial combined, are, are 50 points. Uh, secondly, you know, there's some things to look at in terms of how high cost our government spending is already. And then thirdly, uh, there's, just, there's just a situation where so many Albertans have stopped working, moved their capital and their investment out of Alberta, out of Canada, I believe that, that more taxation, if, if the UCP government doesn't do something about the high cost of government, we're going to have even more job creators and people that invest money pull their money out of Alberta, and that will be harmful for all families and all communities. That was Cypress Medicine Hat MLA, Drew Barnes.